Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever this video finds you. Today I have Faith. Normally Faith comes in for grooming and she does come in for boarding, but normally when she comes in for grooming, it's not boring. Well, she's been boarding. And let's just say she's not a happy camper. I had to break out the gloves in order to get her out of her condo. Um, she's been chilling in her thing in there. She's not happy. Um, it's a good thing I had those things on because she bit the she bit the um, the glove completely off my hand. But uh, gonna try and get her out of her cage here. Uh, normally she is really really good for me. I don't ever have an issue with her. Normally she'll just be like the whole time. But today, uh, she is feeling some kind of way. And this generally happens when they're boarding because, you know, they smell the other cats and stuff like that that are there. So we're going to see if I can even groom her. Because if I can't groom her safely, I'm not going to try and stress her out any further. Um, I've never, ever had to sedate her. And she is an older cat. Um, so I really don't want to stress her out too much. Um, yeah, Melissa, open that like that without the glove. So we're going to see what she lets me do. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetheart. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, baby. I know. It's okay. Look, she's... You're just so freaking cute. I love you. Sp Faith. She is not a happy camper, y'all. She is not happy. See, she is hissing. Baby girl, what's wrong, huh? What's the matter? Okay, I think what I'm going to do, instead of doing it from this side, since these come off, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off the sides over here and take those off. Um, I'm going to clean this screen because it's, it's a little foggy, and uh, I'd like you guys to have like a nice clean thing of a boober with all the hair that's been glowing. There you go. That's a little that's much clearer, don't you think? I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna put you on here. Pray for me because I'm gonna leave faith today. Um I'm gonna close this door over here really quick just in case she gets out. I don't want her getting out of this room. So we're gonna close this door for safety reasons. All right. Okay. Faith, I know when you normally come in, baby, this is not how we normally do you. But this is how we're going to do you today, baby girl. Now, normally we shave her down, but they don't want her cut. We want her just cleaned up a little. So I'm hoping once I get her on the table... She's a little bit more chill, so we shall see. So I said she's normal. She's been formally really good for me. I mean, sometimes she'll hiss and stuff, but that's about it. I mean, I have other videos of Faith on my page. Hey, baby, it's okay. I know. I'm gonna pick you up now, okay? Look here, Chunky Monkey. I know. I know. I'm going to take these gloves off now. I really don't think that I need them. I hope I don't need them. 
I ain't no bubble. I know, sweetheart. So this is Faith, everybody. I know, Bubby. I know. I know. I know. You're so mad. I know. I know. I'm going to clip. It's okay. I'll do the nails first. I know. The knees are definitely talons. I know, Bubby. Move your ear. Your nails are just so thick. That's generally pretty common. When cats get older, their nails will get a lot thicker. Um, but you still want to make sure that you clip them. I know, baby. Because when they get thick, um, they can get infected. Faith. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I understand you're upset. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know if this is like a chunk of just like fat or if this is like a mass. Like it feels like a mass. Um... As you can see, she is panting. She's thinking about what she wants to do. All right, I'm going to see what a two comb does. Now, if she gets too stressed out, I'm not going to bother grooming her. I'll probably just do like a bath or something on her. Yeah, see, this is not even, this is barely taking anything off. Um, so I'm going to see what maybe instead of doing that, maybe see what a, um, see what a three and three fourths would do. I know, baby. I know. I know. I know, baby. I know. Now, yeah, see, even this is not going nice. to we'll take some off, but now she is fast. She's old, but she's fast. Now, we're going to see what we can do. This is not really taking off too much. I'm going to just kind of neaten her up. Um, now, normally I do a 10 on her. Um... But look, that's all that's really coming off. Um, now let's do a five. We're going to do a five. Because with her just being so old, you know, being an older kitty cat, um, I'd rather just do what I can. I know, baby. Now, a number 10 blade is generally your safest blade to use on a cat. If you are going to use other blades, be very careful. The reason why I say that is because 
The teeth on this five are definitely a lot more spread than your number 10. Look at the difference. So it's a lot easier for the skin to go through um, on the number five. That's why generally when you do a cat, most groomers will sit there and tell you that they'll usually do a 10. Now you will have some groomers um, that will do a different blade, like I'm doing right now. She's trying to think of how to get out of this. And she didn't really have the best skin. Her skin's not looking too good right here. Like patchy. And that could also be from a constant her getting clipped down. I oh, know. Now I left her for the last to be done today. It is about, I don't know, 3 34 o'clock. So I figure maybe if I do her last, I can take my time on her. Now, I'm not scruffing her because I don't know if that's a mass or something like that, and I don't want to hurt the area. But, I mean, if I have to scruff her, I, I will eventually probably have to. Um, I know, baby girl. It's okay, Faithy. I know. I know. Wow, I know. Wow. I know. I know, Bubby. I know. She's like, shut up. I don't like it right now. I'm going to put y'all on my stand. <coughs> I know, Bubby. Hold on, I'm going to pause you. Okay, there we go. This way, if she's a sign of female. Look, I, I jumped. I got scared. Did y'all see that? This way, if she decides to jump or something like that, y'all can see my reaction. Like, oh my god! I know, Bubby. Hey. Hey. Hey, Fifi. I know, Bubby. I know, sweetheart. You don't mean it. Compared to how she was up there to right now, I'm telling you, it's like two different cats. I mean, cats will do their own thing. They don't. They don't care about you <laughs> when they want attention. <coughs> excuse me. They will come to you. Just trying to watch where I put my hands in case she decides she wants to try to bite. Just trying to do the other areas first. I know, Faithy. Now, I am pinching just a lightly, um, just in the back. Well, it's actually kind of in front of that little lump mass thing that I'm feeling. And she's not going to be the greatest today. I'm not trying to get her picture perfect. I'm just trying to get some of this hair off of her. Um... And then she's going to go back in her kennel. I am going to give her probably a waterless bath. Uh, just because I don't want to stress her out any further. And I know she's already stressed out. You're doing great, Faith.
Wow, I know. I know. I'm going to turn you around, okay? I know. You tell me all about it, okay, sweet baby? Just don't try to lunge and scratch at me, okay? Because you know I'm a little scaredy cat. And you know I'm going to be like, oh my god! And jump and scream. What can I say? I'm a putz. I'm a putz. And since she is a chunkier cat, a thicker cat, um, it's a lot easier to do this five blade on her. Um, now it is a little bit more difficult when they're um, more thinner. She's like, yeah, I know. Uh, when they're more thinner, it's harder. And then as they get older and they have like the extra skin and it flaps, it makes it a little bit harder because you kind of kind of stretch the skin. I know. Look, you got me on edge over here. Um, I mean, you always want to stretch the skin anyway when you're doing a cat. Is it, you know, kind of keeps the, uh, the wrist down. You are very greasy, my girl. You are so, I know, you're so beautiful. I know. I love this cat. Even though she's a little spicy. A little spicy meatball. I know, brother. I know. I know. I know. Now, since I am doing a five, um, I have to check the blade because I don't want it to get too hot, and then I end up burning her. So I'm going to have to go in here and grab my other five. Because I have mostly sevens out right now. Because oh, it's summertime. Well, I mean, it's not summertime yet, but it's just about summertime. Yes, I know. This is really not good how I have my scissors. Look. This is how I just pile all my stuff in there. This is all the stuff that's sharpened that I haven't used. Um, I have all of these, and I'm not using them because all I've been using are the scissors that I bought from the expo. I know, sweet cheeks. What's my name? Bonana. I'm gonna scruff her and then kind of do underneath her, her neck. Yeah. I want to do her belly. She's got me so on edge that I'm afraid she's gonna like freak out on me. I'm trying to keep my distance from the table. Um, will you let me get your belly? She looked at me like, bitch, why'd you touch me like that? Okay. I have to scruff her underneath it. Because I got to get her belly.
There's one thing it sucks when you are the only groomer having a girl cat by yourself. I'll tell you what, it's not easy. It's not easy, but being bravely. Hey. I know, but you gotta let me do this, baby. She's like, I don't need to let you do nothing. Like I've said in my other videos, cats have timers. The older they are, the shorter their timer is. Um, so I'm just going to try and do what I can on her. If I can't get her all the way done, I mean, unfortunately, that's what's, what's going to have to be. And I'm hoping that's not the case. Normally I don't have an issue doing it, but... I don't know if she's not feeling good or she's just stressed from boarding and not being home. She's getting really upset right now. And if she gets me, she's going to get me. I know, baby girl. Feisty kitties today. Two. Can I get this arm? She's like, I don't know. Can you get this arm? Good girl. She's like this. I'm gonna go after her butt. I know, princess. Is she up a little higher on her butt? I know. I'm, I'm just trying to get it in here real quick. Can't take that area. Being touched. They absolutely hate it. Um, I know. Normally I try to get that to go for last, but... I'm just trying to do whatever she'll let me do. Now, like I said, she's not going to be perfect. I'm not aiming for perfect right now. I just want that to be clear. She's probably going to have some hairs in some areas that are not going to be how I wanted it. But I don't want to stress her out. And she's already stressing. Um, I know, Bubby. Oh. I know. I know. 
She's a beautiful cat, though. She's so beautiful, man. See? Timer. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah, she's pretty much telling me, look, you ain't got much time to get what you got to get done, and I'm probably not going to be able to get everything done that I want to get done. Will you let me get this arm? I know, sweet girl. I appreciate you letting me do this, sweetheart. I know, you're like, whatever, get out of my face. And she's so sweet and and then she's like wow am i really sweet and it's just because she's old that's the only that's the other reason why i'm taking her down a little bit shorter um just because she is an older cat and <clears throat> I don't want her to come in matted. I know, baby. So I'm just trying to get what I can get off. I mean, I'm racing against the clock right now with her. See, I felt the tension right there. And that's why I kind of backed up. I know, it's okay. I know. She knows when I scruff her, she knows I gotta get it done. You know, I mean business. It's funny because even though I'm scruffing her, I'm still kind of nervous about her. I know, sweetheart. I know. Oh, she bit my finger. You see that? I know you saw it because I'm recording it. Yeah, she got my finger. See? See the blood? Yeah, she got me there and there. Okay. Her timer's up. That really hurt. Faith, that was not very nice. You gave me a boo-boo, and it's going to hurt. Now I'm going to have to take some amoxicillin to make sure I don't get infected there. It's a good thing it's Friday. Oh, she sliced that one pretty good. Let me tell you, cats, cat mouths are extremely dirty. Um, they're extremely dirty. <clears throat> Doesn't matter how, it's just the bacteria that they carry in their mouth. That's why, um, that's why it's very important that if you ever get bitten by a cat or scratched by a cat, you seek medical attention. Um, because if you don't and you don't clean it um, and get on antibiotics, <clears throat> it'll turn into an infection and it becomes, can become very deadly. Um, now, if you do a cat, I mean, if you do any animals, you should really have your tetanus shot up to date. If it's not up to date, then I don't, 
you are playing with fire, my friend. Um, man, this just really stings. I'm trying to get it stop bleeding before I scruff her and try to do this last part of her back end. Because um, after I do this last little part, whatever I can get there, I'm just going to spray her down and call her done. Like I said, she's not going to be perfect. I'm not expecting her to be perfect. She's been boarding, and she's not getting picked up until, I think, Monday. And but you, got, you just got such beautiful eyes. Her eyes, y'all. I'll have to zoom up if y'all didn't see the video earlier. Um, they're just, they look, they look like they got glass in her eyes. They're like oceans. I don't, I can't really describe it. She's just so, I know, you're just so beautiful. I know. I know, you didn't mean to bite me. Well, you, you probably did mean to bite me, but. Oh, man. It's really gushing, that finger. Really, I'm a, well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a bleeder. And I think it's because ever since I've had my gallbladder removed a few years ago, I think I've become anemic. Um, I bruise really easily. And if, like, even if my cats, like, just step on me, especially in my legs, oh, my God, if they, like, just simply walk on my legs, it feels like somebody is poking the crap out of me. You gave me a boo-boo. And it hurts. I'm trying to get the blood to stop so that I can finish you. Because I don't want to get my blood on you. Okay? Jesus. I really bleed heavy. Okay. She said you ain't getting nothing else done. Hey. I'm probably going to end up getting blood on her. I feel like my finger's bleeding. Okay, I'm gonna call that done. Now she still has some long hairs back down there, but it's not like incredibly bad, but it's cleaned up enough. Um, like I said, she already bit me once, so she's already, she's already extremely stressed. I know, baby. I know, and this doesn't help. You eating your own hair? I know, you're pissed. I'm sorry. All right, so I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm probably going to try and let her mellow out for a few minutes in the cage, let her dry. Um, maybe I can see if I can get one of the texts to let me get her back leg to where it's, you know, not so, so bad. Um, but... Um, I don't want to stress her out any further. And I know she's already stressed. So hope you guys enjoyed this spicy one. Going home with a battle wound. It's okay.
I still love her. She doesn't mean it. I mean, she probably didn't mean it, but I mean, I don't blame her. I won't be, want to be messed with when I get older anyway either, so I don't blame her. Um, see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. And also check out my Facebook page is where I post the dogs and cats that I do every day. I post their after photos. And you can also check me out on the Tiki Talks. I'll see you guys later. Bye.